All right, let's talk about simplifying radical expressions. And we're going to start with ones that only have numbers, um, no variables. You see, you'll see we'll get to those in a minute. The first thing we want to do is um, break down our number into the factors. So I noticed right away we can divide 75 by 5, and that's 5 times 25. I can't simplify 5 anymore, but I could break down 25 into... 5 and 5, and that's where I have to stop for those as well because I can't um, factor that anymore. Now, we have five, three sets of 5, right? 5, 5, 5. And so we could write this as 5 cubed. We could write that as 5 squared times another 5. Either way, um, what we're going to do is take the square root of those. Now, if you remember from class, a square and a square root are opposite, inverse operations. They undo each other, kind of like multiplication and division, undo each other. And so this 5 squared here cancels out the radical, and you're left with just a 5. But this 5 gets stuck underneath. There's not enough 5s to come out of the radical. <clears throat> now, I know I'm looking for a square because this is a square root. Whereas this one has a 3 on the outside of my radical, right here, like the little 3, which means I'm looking for cubed roots or things um, that have powers of 3. So I'm going to take 64, um, and I'm going to break it down. Now, it's negative 64, so I can take um, a negative 8 times another negative 8. Uh, and then I can break those down even more, like a negative 4 times a 2, a negative 4 times a 2, or I could keep going, or, um, yeah, negative 2 times 2 times 2 times negative 2 times 2 times 2, um, all of those things. So you'll notice we've got two sets of 3 twos. There's two of those. Now, if I make all of these negative, it's still the same thing because a negative and a negative is a positive times another negative is a negative, positive, ne right? So if we just make all of these negatives, we're going to still end up with the negative 64. So we've got two sets of, well, actually one set. Sorry about that. We've got one set of negative twos because a negative and a negative is positive. So that's got to be positive. This one's got to be positive. So a negative and a positive, a negative and a positive, a negative and a positive. So I can take a, a negative 2 out from my radical, and I can take a positive 2 because those are going to cancel. So I've got a negative 2 and a positive 2 or just a negative 4. Last but not least, let's look at this one. We're going to break it down. So we've got 4 times 6, or 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. Or we could rewrite that as 2 to the third power times a 3. And when we go and take the cubed root of those things, we notice that it cancels for our 2 here, and we're left with a 2 on the outside. But our 3 doesn't have enough to get out from under our radical, so we're left with 2 cubed root of 3.